Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to the first ever episode of Tim and Hasina's Love Is. I'm here tonight with my beautiful wife, Hasina Roach Marks. Um, she's very talented and very educated in her field. Uh, I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about herself. Can you introduce yourself? He wants me to introduce myself. Hmm. Yes. My name is Hasina. I am a mother and a wife. And where are you from, Hasina? I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts. Ah, and where are you residing at now? I live in South Florida. South Florida, wow. How you like it? The contrast between the two. The hot and the cold is real. And so you prefer which one? Hot. Mm, me too. That's probably how I got you. Too. Hot. Um, give us a little background about your educational background. <sighs> so boring. But what did I do? I said I wanted to go into the social work field. I've been in this field since I was 19. All right got my associates in general studies because at that time I was just getting something to get in. Bachelors, I got in sociology, which I should have been a doctorate of sociology, but instead I went another realm of fully helping people instead of doing the research side, which I think I love more. Where did that passion from helping people, where did it come from with you? Where did it come from? Yes. What gave you that passion to where you wanted to help people? I had a rough background. I grew up like the Cosby show, as my siblings would say. But then it was a time where my parents chose to divorce. And um, my mom didn't take it well. And dealing with her traumas and her past histories, she took a lot of things out at, on me. And with it coming out on me, it I had to go into foster care. Mm -hmm. My mom ended up being very physically abusive and verbally abusive. Around what age was you when you first entered the foster care system? I was 15 years old. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that, that would give me motivation, too, to want to help people. Absolutely. So you have any degrees or... Or any diplomas or anything like that? Well, I graduated from high school. I'm on my fake marriage and family therapist. Ah, uh, okay. What, what was the name of your high school? <laughs> I went to Springfield Central High School, the home of a few basketball players, major league folks, and things like that. We have a couple of famous people out of our school. Um, like I said, I went and got my associates from Sprinkle Technical Community College. I don't even know if they call it that anymore. And then I went to Westfield State College and got my bachelor's. And then when I came to Florida, I went to Nova Southeastern University. Uh, so you're also an author, right? I am. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what kind of, you have, what kind of books do you have out? I have a cookbook out. Huh. And what kind of cookbook? It's a vegan cookbook. Oh, so how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan for, ooh, it's been a while. Now, a lot of people want to know about your locks. How long have you had them? Are they real? <laughs> Can you explain that? My hair is real. I've gotten it cut multiple times. My cousin loves cutting my hair. It used to be down to my thighs, but now it's hmm, stomach length. I've had it for 12 years, I believe. No, more than 12 years. As long as my son has been alive and probably before because I cut it then. I think I started in 03 with locks. And back and forth, back and forth on the PRM today. Okay. And yes, it's real. It's all real. It's real. Just like you're real. I'm real. And yes. this platform that we're going to reach is going to help a lot of people. Um, I think we've both been through enough where we have enough skills and knowledge where we can say and do the right things to maybe help some some other people out. Um, if you if you's okay with you, uh, would you like to tell 
tell the people about uh, what you're living with or or you were diagnosed with something so so many years ago and how are you living with that? How are you coping with that? Um, maybe you can encourage somebody today that might be dealing with the same issues. Okay, so back in 2012, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. That is one of the autoimmune diseases that I was diagnosed with. MS, I have to look up in the air so I can remember. Crohn's disease, fibromyalgia, and arthritis. I believe it started with the MS where my eyes was acting funny, where I would see a dark cloud in my right eye and it would just stay there. And then I noticed I couldn't see from a far distance. So I went to my local Walmart and I said, let me just get a quick eye test. I must need glasses. Then when they were finished, they said, no, you need to go see a specialist. And from going to see the specialist and doing a battery of tests, I think for two days, actually, they finally came back and said I had optic neuritis, which is conducive of uh, multiple sclerosis. Wow. So uh, how did how did you feel when, when you found that horrible news out? Uh, actually, I was okay for the simple fact that I knew somebody that was very close to me that had it and they were fine. So I figured I would be fine too. And, and you have, you are fine, you know, but, uh, you know, to, to the ones that's, you know, that's dealing with sickness or, or what they doctors categorize as a sickness is not a setback. It's just a setup for something great. It all depends on our perception, how we look at things. Because life is going to happen. Life is going to happen. Uh, but this isn't about me. This is about my wife right now. I'm, I'm letting y'all know her background, where she come from. So when we do start coaching and teaching and explaining things, that you can you guys can get an understanding of the type of person that we are, that she is, the type of marriage that we have, the type of love that we have for each other, um, the type of life that we want to live and we think that it's the right way to live. You know, we're not talking about religious sex or we're not talking about anything like that. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Um, let's see if I got any more questions for my beautiful wife. How old are you? A woman never tells. So. Ah. <laughs> I am 42 years young. Wow. Yes. Well, that's good. I like them young. Whatever. <laughs> this man is only a couple of years older than me. So no, just just barely, just barely. But uh, just wanted to you know get chance to get our feet wet and let you guys see our faces. And, and you'll hear about me on the next podcast. Uh, stay tuned because the flame is lit. It's about to be fire. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you.